Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can use your phone, Android or iOS, both works, on your PC for a microphone. This is simple and it's useful if you've got a broken headset microphone or your microphone just isn't good quality to record a video on. So let's get into the video. To get started, head over to your phone and open the App Store. For iOS will be the App Store and for Android it's going to be the Play Store. In the Play Store, search for Woe Mic. Download and install that, and once you're done, open it. As you can see, we've opened up the Woe Microphone app. To actually get started, we'll need to open up Settings. Once Settings is open, go to About Phone, and you're going to need to activate Developer Options on Android. To do so, go to Software Information, and then tap Build Number 5 times. You won't get the same text as I have, because I've already activated it. Once it's activated, go to the Settings main page, and go to Developer Options. In here, enable it if it hasn't already, select OK if a pop-up comes. And we're going to go to the search bar and type in USB debugging. Once that's searched for, select it and enable it. Click OK. Next, plug in your phone to your computer and wait for a allow USB debugging um, pop-up. Allow that and then start the WOMIC server. Make sure on the WOMIC settings, it is selected as USB. Next, stop into your PC, open a web browser and search for WOMIC microphone. Make sure it's on the official website as shown here. Scroll down to the client on PC and download that. Once it's downloaded, open it and allow administrative privileges. Once it's opened, click next to all the things you want. Make sure to tick the boxes of what I have. Once that's finished, download the virtual device driver for Windows, click save and open it again. In here, you need to select your operating system, once you've done that, click install. Once that's finished, go to the Woe microphone client and open that. For me, it's on my desktop. Once you've done that, click connection and connect. In here, we want to set the transport type to whatever we've selected on the phone. In my case, I've selected USB, so that's what I'll select here. Once you click OK, it will connect, and one, if it is successfully connected, it will say connected in the bottom left hand corner. If I go to my microphone options in settings, you can see under the test your microphone section, it is picking up voice input from my phone. Thanks for watching the video guys. If you want an iOS specific tutorial, if this video gets 10 likes, I'll make sure to make that. So you guys on iOS can follow along very easily. And th I just want to thank you guys for 100,000 total views on the channel and nearly 500 subscribers. That's equally as awesome. Um, make sure to join the Discord, guys. If you need any help, I'll be on there. So just message me up and I'll make sure to help you. I'll also be doing a 500 sub slash 100k view giveaway soon. So that will be hosted on the Discord. Okay, enough talking, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.